1 into 1 into 1 is 1, 2 into 2 into 2 is 8 and 3 into 3 into 3 is 27, right? Remember how we learned that 1 into 1 can also be written as 1 raised to the power 2 and we call it square of 1. Similarly, 1 into 1 into 1 can be written as 1 raised to the power 3 and this is called cube of 1. So, this becomes cube of 1, this is cube of 2 and this is cube of 3. So, you must be thinking why do we call it cube? Why the term cube? All we know about cube is that it is a 3D structure something like this. The term cube actually comes from the idea of actual cubes in geometry. Think about this. Square of a number is the number multiplied by itself. And this term square is no coincidence. Square of a number is equal to the area of the square whose side is equal to that number. Now we know that area of square is side into side, right? And that's what we are doing here. Square of 3 is side into side, that is 3 into 3. Similarly, cube of a number is equal to the volume of the cube whose side is equal to that number. Now, volume of a cube is side into side into side and that's what we're doing here. Cube of a number is that number multiplied to itself three times. Here's the term cube. Now, what would be the cube of five? We just so that cube of any number is the number multiplied to itself three times. So, 5 raised to power 3 would be 5 into 5 into 5. That is 125. Similarly, cube of 11 would be 11 into 11 into 11, which is 1331. Now, imagine if we have five logs. Can we arrange them into one cube? Mm. No, no matter what arrangement we try, we cannot arrange them into a perfect looking cube. What if, if we add one more, if we have six blocks, try arranging them in a cube, still a no. But how about if we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight blocks. If you try and arrange them, they get arranged in a perfect cube whose side is two. So it has two, two, two as its sides. So, this, this, these are 8 blocks. 8 now can be written as 2 into 2 into 2, right? So, 8 is a number which can be arranged into a perfect cube. And there are many more numbers. For example, 1. Yes, 1. Because 1 can also be written as 1 into 1 into 1. Where this is the cube having side 1, 1, 1. Now, this can also be written as 1 raised to power 3. And we just saw one example which was 2 into 2 into 2, that is 8. And so 8 can be written as cube of 2, right? Then looking at this pattern, you can just guess that the next number would be 3 into 3 into 3, which makes 27. So 27 is the cube of 3. These are the numbers which can be arranged into this perfect looking cubes. Next number would be 4 into 4 into 4, which is 64. So 64 is the cube of 4. Right? All of these numbers, 1, 8, 27, 64, these are called perfect cubes. So, perfect cubes are those numbers which can be written as a number raised to the power 3. There are many more perfect cubes, for example, 1, 8, 27, 64, 125, which is cube of 5, cube of 6, 7, cube of 8, cube of 9, cube of 10, which is 1000. All of these are perfect cubes. Then there are some other numbers, for example, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, or basically all the numbers other than these perfect cubes, which cannot be written as a certain number multiplied to itself three times. That is, which cannot be expressed as a number raised to the power 3. And these numbers are called non-perfect cubes.